That's why the code says what? Don't loan any black person anything that you cannot afford to lose because chances are you're going to lose it. Okay. Here's what you do. Wherever you get things from, you steer that black person toward that source and see if they can get it from that source, which will be somebody white. Because there's one thing about black people. They'll see to it that they pay white folks. <laughs> All right? Yes, sir. They'll see to it. They'll find a way to pay them white folks. Yes. Why? Because they know they better. <laughs> All right? Yes, but they will look at you and say, well, you black just like I am, and you can't make me pay you, so ha, ha, ha. I mean, you know, you can just whistle for your money. I mean, you shouldn't have given it to me in the first place. Now, mm. that is exactly what some person, a person told me years ago. A person, you know, on a business deal, a black person told, actually told me that and actually said, well, what are you going to do with the money if I give it back to you anyway? As if to say, if you had the money to loan me, it means you didn't need it. That was the message. Mm. And a lot of black people have that position yes, sir. for another black person. If you loan me some money, it means you could afford to loan it to me, which means you did not need the money yourself. Therefore, I don't have to pay you back because you don't really need the money. Because mm. if you needed the money, you couldn't have loaned it to me. That's what you call get to reasoning. I got it. All right? But the <laughs> way you get rid of that is, mm. hey, the guy says, hey, Phil, I'd like to borrow, and I've given this illustration for decades. Phil, I'd like to borrow $500 from you. I say, well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to give you 100 on your problem. All right? And he said, man, I don't want you to give me nothing. I need $500. I don't need, I don't need no $100. I need 500 no, I'm going to give you 100 because that's a, all that I can afford to give you. Yes, sir. Because if I give you 500 I'd be expecting 500 back. I'm not expecting this 100 back, all right? Okay. If I give you 500 I'm expecting it back, and I'm not likely to get it. You want to help that black person? You steer them to some white person. Yeah. And say, now, this white person is willing to give you, to loan you 500 oh. Now, you know, that's between you and him now. Yeah. I know <laughs> that you'll find a way to see to it. you get that money. So Kevin Cosby, the president of Simmons College of Kentucky, right, and senior pastor of St. Stephen Church, accepted a one million dollar loan from an open white supremacist, John Schnatter. Let's not get it twisted, this is a loan. Like, you know, that's why I played that clip from Neely Fuller to illustrate that this particular loan, it's not a donation, it's a loan, is a political move, a PR move, and a reputation rebuild for John Schnatter. You know, again, this is, this is a guy that openly hates black people, black society. This is well known, well documented. And so he's using um, Kevin Cosby, his seminary school, right? Simmons College of Kentucky, which is a Christian Bible school, right? He's using that to give $1 million, which is 0.1% of his net worth, because the man is worth over $800 million. He's loaning them the money to rebuild his reputation, to say, hey, I don't hate black people after all. Listen, Kevin Cosby, I'm gonna work with you. And the reason why I wanna work with you is because I respect what you do. I know black people love religion. I know black people love Christianity. I know black people um, understand and through your ancestors were taught Christianity. And that's pretty much all you guys know. And I understand that. So I want to work with you guys because you guys are gonna help rebuild my brand, 
my reputation to black people. I'm gonna smile and take pictures. I'm gonna give you this money, right? And we're gonna make this a donation, but we all know I give you this money, you'll help me rebuild my brand, my image, my reputation. This is what it's all about, right? Rebuilding his brand, his image, and reputation for black people. Again, like I said in my last video, to keep black people docile, right? To have them submissive, to say, hey, this is a form of reparation payments. We, we're gonna accept this money and we're gonna we're gonna accept this money because we need to have our our HBCU institutions, we need to have them liberalized and making sure that black youth get the proper education they need from HBCUs, etc. You know, and, and this is the thing, man. This is part of like I keep saying, and the code system concept from nine areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. This is just part of what we need. But we're, you know, ADOS is not, I wouldn't consider ADOS uh, accepting any kind of money, you know? And just to keep it frank, accepting this money from John Schneider is, it's on a level of, of prostitution and I have to be straight up honest. The reason why is because we don't have a price tag and the price tag of $1 million is not enough money, especially for an institution, especially for just an institution that is, uh, caters towards Christianity and the Bible. This is a, it's a Bible school, Simmons college of Simmons college of Kentucky. And they have an ADOS, as you can see here, an ADOS scholarship. Right. And so this only benefits as far as I can tell, tell you, uh, you know, Kevin Cosby and his school who, you know, he's the president of this Bible Christian seminary school. What does this money actually do in the long term of things? It's a long run of things, right? What does this really do in essence? This only strengthens the system of white supremacy. Point blank and simple. This 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 only strengthens the system of racism, white supremacy, because you have a religious institution. Again, religion is part of the nine areas of activity. John Schneider understands is taking a page out of Margaret Singer's book. Like I said in my last video, where this is the infamous quote by Margaret Sanger, the most educational approach to the Negro is through a religious appeal. And John Schneider understands that. He's working with Kevin Cosby, who is the president of, of Bible Seminary School, Simmons College of Kentucky, and is also a pastor of his church, St. Stephen. So this, the ADOS movement has been really devalued with this move, to be honest with you. I don't have to be straight up honest with you, man. This, this has been devalued. So we're going to actually accept this money for a Bible school where the, 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 the population, well, I would just say population, but the actual student enrollment is pretty much minuscule compared to other HBCUs like Morehouse you know, like, like Morehouse and FAMU, uh, Florida Memorial College, Bethune Cookman. Those are the HBCUs that I know that have a higher in black student enrollment, right? And they're not a Bible seminary institution. You see, so th this, this particular donation, it, it benefits who exactly and what? ADOS for Bible schools? seminary schools like what it, it, it this doesn't add up it, it doesn't add up you know um so you know like i said i've done some research about uh kevin cosby the president being the president of simmons college of kentucky uh there's several articles about him being a part of the ados movement um he will be his particular institution is hosting 
the ADOS movement, uh, the ADOS conference rather, in October. Uh, so Tone Talks, Yvette Carnell, they'll be there, as you can see here, the ADOS conference in October 4th and 5th in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. And uh, Kevin Cosby's institution is hosting uh, the event. Right. So I have to side eye this. I have to question this. Why? Why? First of all, why does ADOS have a price tag for, for only $1 million? Was there any negotiations to get something higher? And the key thing when you follow the cold system concept is you don't loan money that you know you can't get back. So John Schneider, of course, played his hand perfectly for his code. Loaning this particular institution, Simons College, uh, $1 million, knowing that he'll get that money back in, in three folds, just based off PR and, and brand rebuilding alone. Of course, you know, black people can do shit for free and, and generate money for non-black businesses like they did, like we did for Popeye's chicken and that damn chicken sandwich. We generated like $30 million of free advertising in just a couple of weeks. <laughs> in just a couple of goddamn weeks. So we know that uh, John Schneider, that, that $1 million is, is in great hands because we know we're going to be talk, talking that up. Talking that up. ADOS, we got reparations for $1 million from uh, John Schneider. Papa John's, you know, that's why he's in these pictures with his Papa John shirt, right? See, we're not, we're not brand aware. We're not brand aware at all. He's in this picture with his Papa John shirt. So we know who this guy is. So if, if anybody doesn't know this guy's name, they know who this guy is. The founder of Papa John's. They know by his face. This is brand awareness. This is a PR move. This is rebuilding your reputation with black society and keeping us docile and, and passive and submissive. And this is working to a T. So I don't agree with this at all. Uh, this is a bad look for ADOS. Um, and you're being used in the system of, in, in, under the cold system concepts of, of, of racism, white supremacy, you are being used and played for a pawn. You know, this was a loan and John Schneider has gotten his money back and then some through the form of reputation, through the form of PR, free advertising, um, et cetera. And, as well, and, and he got his money back and then some with interest. Well, over a million dollars alone from this, right? So, you know, those those are my thoughts about that family. Um, just have to side eye this movement, you know, side eye this 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 uh, this whole thing um, from Ados and, and and Kevin Cosby being a big supporter of the Ados movement and him working being affiliated with, with Tone Talks and Yvette Cardinal, I, I have to question that whole thing. It's not a good look in my opinion. So, anyway, if I'm losing my thoughts about that, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, family. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, family. Chauncey signing out. Peace.